as a cardiologist dealing with people who do have heart attacks, it's a very life-altering moment for them. These sort of key moments in people's lives are things they'll always remember and being there to help them at that time is it's really a special thing. A lot of people tend to get into medicine because they really value helping people. There's lots of different professions where you help people, but I guess it's the fact that you can sort of help people at a very, very interpersonal level. There are so many options and so many areas in which you can go into. Some people who do medicine end up being full-time researchers in a lab. Some people end up being public health physicians. Some people end up being medical device creators. So there's a lot of things that we do really, really well at this university medical school that make it a wonderfully social environment for students. We teach things in uh, scenario-based learning, and so that's about a scenario that arises and you with the others in your team have to try and sort out and resolve how that works. One of the big pros is you end up being a family. You go six years with quite significant moments in your life with the same cohort and they end up being your lifelong friends. So the medical program consists of two separate courses. So one is a Bachelor of Medical Studies, which runs for three years, and this is then followed by a Doctor of Medicine for three years. The first three years consist of a foundation course, which runs for uh, a semester. And this is then followed up by a series of scenario-based learnings. And as we go from first year to second year to third year, then these scenarios become progressively more complicated. And they then go around and cover all the different aspects of the medical sciences that the students need to know. So my day usually starts with a meeting. We usually have some early morning multidisciplinary meetings involving nursing staff, surgeons and cardiologists. And then we do a ward round. So we see patients on the ward who may have come in with a heart attack. After that, I either go to the lab where I perform pr procedures on people's hearts or I report echocardiograms, which are moving images of the heart that sort of tell people are they in heart failure or do they have a problem with their valve or is the heart not working properly. The Doctor of Medicine course then consists of a series of clinical placements where students go and explore a large number of different medical specialties, all the different things that students need to be aware of by the time they become proficient practitioners. And a large component of this for the new course includes quite a substantial research component to give students a really solid understanding of the research underpinnings of the science that healthcare is based on. What this allows is for students in this course to be able to have a more accelerated path towards higher degree education, such as completing a PhD. Being able to do rheumatic valvular disease, which is what I ended up doing my PhD in, really took me not only remote parts of Australia, but also third world countries, um, including the Solomon Islands and India, and undertake placements there. And that's sort of a really rewarding part for me because I think medicine is something that should be available for all. So one of the things that's uh, really special about this facility is the uh, simulation uh, environment, which is one of the uh, best in the world. It is kitted out to be very, very much like an entire hospital ward. It also includes, for example, a simulation operating theatre, so you can simulate what it'd be like to carry out operations on mannequins. It also includes a, a birthing suite. There is quite bespoke facilities for being able to record with audio and video what happens in those um, simulations. So you can then play back and watch it afterwards and learn either individually or in a group environment. We had um, sim sessions for very acute things like a cardiac arrest and we also had sim sessions with simulated patients and then we also had simulated procedures. So when you can't necessarily learn on a patient, they're the next best thing. And they allowed that transition into the clinical side of the, the medical program to be much smoother than, than otherwise. I would encourage all the students that are trying to get into medicine that if this is actually what you want to do, if your true passion lies with helping people in the way that we talked about, to do something for them that's meaningful, that's based on the science of healthcare, that's based on how you care for another uh, person, if that's really what your passion is and that's where it really lies, then do your absolute best, you have nothing to lose.